When I was a young man, I did pointillism in small paintings, and I was really into building weird bicycles. And eventually I got into working on pianos and restoring pianos, building pianos, and then out of that and doing the artistic world of just being a creative at my core, I started building bizarre birdhouses and then taking um, thrown away pieces to build these birdhouses and musical sculptures that I would do with modern dance co companies that I would tour around the country with. And eventually when I got out of the music business and we still kept the piano business, I started collecting more and more instruments and old instruments and old parts. And I was out of producing records and I, at that point, started building sculptures. Um, I think because I've been working on pianos so extensively for so long that I, my hands had a skill that I didn't know they had in working with different mediums and I've been fascinated with where parts come from, the provenance of somebody thought that up, another person drew it, another person made it, people used it till it wasn't used anymore and they threw it away. And now it's our turn as the artist. So that's what brings me to creating this type of art.